This next video is on survivorship curves, so just like the ones that you did in class. So survivorship curve is a line that shows how many of the many of the species will or individuals in a species will survive to the maximum lifespan. Uh, we do this by looking at a cohort. So this is a group of individuals of the same age. So we start studying them when they're all born, and they'll track them through their lifespan, and then with every you know year or whatever the time frame is that goes by, they like to see okay how many are still alive, now how many are still alive, now how many are still alive, and we can put all that data together to generate um, either a type one, a type two, or a type three curve. A type one curve, most of the individuals will survive until whatever their old age is, and then we'll see a mass drop off. Type two. Um, oh, by the way, we call this uh, late loss as well. Type 2, we see a constant loss. So the death rate is relatively the same, you know, as you progress through old age. Whereas type 3, we see a massive die-off in, in young age. Um, so we call this early loss. And then we see that not many individuals live to whatever their old age is. As we discussed in class, this, we see a trend with survivorship and the R K selection. The K selected species are your type 1 curve, the R selected species are your type 3 curve, and then type 2 is kind of somewhere in the middle, K R ish. Uh, and then again comes to you know the reason why they produce an amount of offspring that they do. So type 1, not or like mostly everyone that um, is in this cohort will survive to old age. And that's, you know, why it's advantageous to expend a lot of energy because you get, you know, maximum return on your investment. Whereas with our selected species, a lot of them die really quickly. And that's just, you know, the conditions that whatever they're in produce. So they die off really quickly, but then at least couple of them will stick, a couple of them will reach old age, and then type 2 is just kind of somewhere in the middle. So they tend to be like the medium-sized animals that produce a lot of offspring, but, you know, not like a thousand acorns or something. Alright, now it's your turn to explain survivorship curves, and we are done with 2.2, 3.2.